Hey, Julie, this is Keith. I'm getting around to uh, giving you the little tour of the few of the uh, acrylic paintings that I've done. Uh, this is the first one that's on the wall. You can see the acrylics, I just can't do my style, so very, very frustrating to me. I can't get the layering and the, and the texture and the, and the feeling, so I just can't. And also my method depends on the oil paint being there ready every time I'm uh, ready to paint. And with acrylics, I got it like set up every time. And my medical records say ADD. <laughs> and migraine. And that's pretty much all they say. Yeah. Such a relief to go to Shans and find that out. Uh, this one I did uh, several years ago when the smoke jumpers got killed. And this one's. Uh, I had it one time to where I really, really liked it. And uh, I got to get it back to where it's more just a yellow, orange, and black. And to where I've got the little characters of the smoke jumpers and the smoke and the jumpers and all kinds of other stuff in there that I put in there. Uh, uh, but very, very frustrated with acrylics. Uh, this one's called Jailbirds. This is one I started uh, last August. And it's about some birds hanging out with somebody that's in jail. It's a still a work in progress. Uh, this one's kind of almost done. This is about as good as I can do with acrylics. And, uh, uh, got some hidden meanings in there that mean a lot to me on the jailbird things. Uh, this is one, uh, the golfer Bubba Watson, who I, I, I actually root on people in the PGA that are like me, that are noticeably different, but do very well and are just fine as they are, which is kind of how I was before uh, modern medicine decided to put me on antidepressants and uh, unfortunately Boost Bar, which actually took my memory away for 10 years until Shans took me off of it four years ago. Uh, clearly says in the, in the side effects that Boost Bar will take the memory away from some people. Uh, that's exactly what it did to me. Uh, this one I call We the People. You notice the little pawns. <laughs> oh, a lot of other hidden things. If there's been oil, this could have been actually a very striking painting. Uh, if you've ever heard of the band Crux Shadows, this is just a quick uh, caricature of Rogue, the lead singer of the band. Uh, Anybody knows him knows he's got the big hair that sticks up and uh, you know, he's got the crux shadows. And uh, again, if I had oils, I could have really done something with this. But uh, this is actually, I'm actually happy with it like it is. If I ever see him, I'll give it to him. I actually met their uh, violinist at Lake Ella, uh, Joanna, and a uh, very nice person. I, that's when I first kept up with the crux shadows and uh, kept up with them ever since. And uh, big fan of them and their music and the meaning of their music. Uh, this one we won't go into, but it's got some, some meanings. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people that are maybe exist in real life? <laughs> uh, you know me. I, I paint people that are sometimes in real life. This is one that's probably the best the biggest and the best, and I'm going to leave it just like it is. This is called Dances with Con Men. Uh, kind of take off of the uh, movie uh, Dances with Wolves. And since I've got a little bit of Cherokee in me, I've got things like, uh, you know, the red scent, uh, wooden nickel, all the stereotypes, you know, the uh, tobacco chief and stuff like that. Uh, even... You got stuff like uh, the high-tech stuff of the Sioux Indians with the tornadoes 
as I envision them having like a parachute on their teepees. <laughs> But if they were taken up, they just come down to earth and just, you know, they have all this stuff. And if they didn't think of that, you know, they probably should have. Uh, this one is very, very detailed. Uh, and it's got a lot of messages in it. Uh, it's even got uh, Custer's Bugler's Horn, which I don't know if you can see. Uh, all kinds of Native American people. Fish, and, uh, just all kinds of stuff. This one you could like zoom in, zoom out. I really don't have any place to display them. Uh, uh, Tele has, has been very nice to me. Um, uh, letting me show my stuff every time I go out in public in Tallahassee. They want to, for some reason, smash me as a human being. Don't understand that at all. I'm the one that uh, wasn't allowed to get my education my whole new life at FSU because they were too ignorant to understand migraines. That's what it turned out to be. And migraines couldn't communicate. I didn't know. They didn't know. They're still ruthlessly beating me, thinking that that's what they have to do to protect their... I don't know why they do that. Would love they just uh, just looked at what happened and just simply correct it. Look at my enough of my medical records to know what's what, and then make sure that never happened to another student with disabilities. That'd be my choice. But they got a lawyer named Kramer, and they had two presidents that were ex-politicians. I guess until they get a president, it's not a slimy politician. An academic type. My guess is it won't get done, and I think that's sad for my university that I chose and still love. Uh, sad for the presidents. Sad for the whole FSU community. But they beat on, um, feel the need because they're so ignorant. Beat up on me because they don't understand. Ah, uh, there's a white rabbit. <laughs> Went down a rabbit hole for sure, huh? That's kind of what that said. Clown with a cigar. We kind of figured that out. Uh, that's General Ant. The Ant General. See, I have to leave these basically, in my mind, incomplete for them to look good. Because every time I try to make them look good, uh, they just kind of lose every quality of what you can see in them. Like this one is called, uh, which is the dog and which is the pony, which should, should be a humorous thing about the dog and pony show. And you know, if you look closely, you know, the images of the dogs, uh, jackass. <laughs> we got all kinds of stuff going on there, but you know, I can't, which is, which is the dog? Which is the pony? Uh, yeah. Here's one that I would got to finish in oils. And it's going to be a big one with sea life and all kinds of things. Extremely frustrated with my colors. I can't get acrylic colors to do what the oil colors with the method I did. And I kind of made, made up my own method. Uh, FSU, they called it the style. Even the professors that didn't like me called it D style. Some of them said my work was going to end up in museums, which is kind of ironic since I haven't sold a single painting. Uh, don't really understand that either. Uh, Telex is probably not a market for somebody that actually does paintings about reality in real time. Uh, too much for them to handle, maybe. Uh, anyway, Julie. That's me, and I've enjoyed doing this for you, and uh, my life has been going very, very good here lately. Excellent. Uh, I'm finding out that the more people I get around that smile at me, the better my quality of life is, so I've been trying to stay around people that smile at me. Uh, 
my crippling student loan thing that should have been solved uh, 13 years ago when I was on disability is finally making some progress because I found two very, very nice women that ironically are in collection agencies with very soothing voices that are taking the time to actually do what uh, the government used to do before Jeb Bush and uh, uh, Rick Scott took all the funds for the people with disabled. So now in real life, companies are actually having to spend their money to help people with disabilities like me, which I think is sad. I'm so grateful that I found these two ladies after 13 years because my life was crippled by the stress of money. Uh, crippled by a boost bar and money. The only thing that's held me down for 13 years. Uh, it's so predictable. So sad. Uh, Basically, a person with disabilities, you know, once we're on the floor, the more you kick us, the less able we're able to get up off the floor. We're not like people that kick and they get up. We just hurt more and more. So anyway, spread the word on that. Uh, that's what I try to do is educate ignorant people. Look at it as an ignorant problem uh, and educate it. And uh, Tallahassee seems to have its share of ignorant people. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I think you would probably agree with that. <laughs> but I won't put you on the spot. Anyway, Julie, I've enjoyed doing this for you. You were a great teacher at TCC and your color theory class. Got to tell you, you and Ray blew my mind on color theory. Anyway, two best professors I had in college. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs>